Do these fighter drill bits live up to the claims? We'll find out in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. These are the brand new Mock Blue Stinger drill bits from Spider. Now, Spider's been around the construction industry for quite a few years now. Uh, they make anything from cirque saw blades to jigsaw blades to hole saws, uh, wood drill bits, and so forth. But to my knowledge, they really haven't stepped into the metal arena or to drill bits that are going to drill well in steel, aluminum, uh, different types of alloys. Well, that's what they're doing now, and they have their new series called the Mock Blue Coating on them. Now, this is supposed to be better than titanium and much better than black oxide. In fact, up to 100 times better than titanium and black oxide as far as durability and supposed to be eight times faster than titanium as well. We will put that to the claim. In fact, I'll quit talking about it. We'll talk about this kit. We'll use it on some different types of products, materials from wood to steel to aluminum. And then we'll come back and finish up. These are brand new bits from Spider. Now, Spider's been around the industry a while, especially the construction industry. They make a bunch of hole saws, uh, saw blades, jigsaw blades, uh, cirque saw blades, you name it, as well as uh, uh, other drill bits also, um, like wood drill bits and so forth. This is their first in what they're calling their mock blue stinger bits. Uh, these are going to be sold at Lowe's. They are made in the USA. So uh, this kit, this half inch bit here, you see it carries the made in the USA logo because uh, they are made in the USA. So that's a great thing. For one, um, you can buy this 10 piece kit starting in March 2021 uh, at Lowe's. So Lowe's.com as well as your Lowe's store. Let's look at these a little bit closer. You can see the mock blue, obviously where it gets its name from. They've got this blue coating. Now they're claiming the mock blue coating is much better than titanium, up to a hundred times more holes than titanium or black oxide, and up to eight times faster than titanium bits. So we'll test those out and see. You do get a 137 degree uh, split tip design here which I like that. This is not a drill tip or a starter tip, if you will. Uh, it's just got the split tip design and it is 137 degrees. It should be able to self-center really easy and shouldn't walk off as long as it's cutting well. And, and again, we'll see that in one moment. Now, obviously these are gonna chuck up in a drill rather nicely as well as fit into your quarter inch impacts also. So you see the quarter inch hex design all the way up through the half inch bit. Now. You will notice a couple of different things here. In this case that we get in the 10 piece kit, by the way, the half inch does not come in the 10 piece. The 10 piece includes everything from a 16th all the way up to the 3 8 and then the half inch you have to buy on its own. But you'll notice here that the largest two bits, the 5 16 and the 3 8 come with the hex shank, you know, already milled or, you know, uh, made into the bit itself. Whereas the quarter inch and smaller you'll notice is a cast aluminum and i'm saying it's cast because you can actually see some casting lines here uh, that's cast onto the bit now i don't know over time if that will cause some slippage or not it does help that it does have the hex shank so you're you shouldn't be slipping your chuck on this the chuck should be able to grab those three different flats really easily and hold onto that as well as your impact wrench obviously that's going to go into your impact nicely uh, so don't know if over time that'll be a failure point but just wanted to mention that 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 is cast aluminum. Another thing to note on here that I noticed in the cast aluminum, and you can see a little tag there left on that casting piece, is it left a little bit of residual, a ridge, if you will, so two ridges, one on this side and 180 degrees on the opposite side. I would definitely recommend to uh, take a quick file or a little you know, sander or something and just knock off that ridge because that could potentially cause an issue on your impact wrench. Now, probably not gonna cause an issue on your drill, um, but I would definitely just dress that really qu quick with a file or, you know, sandpaper should work just fine as well. Should be able to knock that off really quickly and get that cast aluminum back uh, nice and rounded so it's not gonna hang up in your impact wrench when you slide or in your impact driver when you slide that in and out. Now, as far as the case goes, uh, I guess it's great that you get a case with it with the 10 piece kit. It is pretty cool. It's kind of got this little locking lip right here. So it's going to lock that into place or they won't uh, fall open, if you will, if you've got them locked. Uh, however, I don't know over time again, if that's going to last, but 
I'm not buying a, you know, a kit like this for the case anyway. Um, and when you close it here, it's got a, a locking tab there. But my biggest beef with the case, it's just so thick. So it's, it's a really thick case. Again, not trying to be uh, you know, negative here, but just wanted to let you know that is a pretty thick case. I'm probably not going to carry that in the case because it is quite large. Great for displaying, uh, great to have some room, maybe if you want to throw some other bits in there. But for me, I'm going to, especially if I'm taking this on the, on the road, if you will, um, I'm going to put that in a, in a slimmer pack or join it with another case um, to keep from having to carry this large case. Anyway, let's use this a little bit. Let's use some of these bits and, uh, and then we'll see what we think. Okay, what we'll do here, I'm gonna start with the half inch bit and we're gonna start on uh, some wood. Now I know that wood is not too difficult, but you know, they claim wood, steel, aluminum, you have it. So we'll just drill through a piece of two by four, make sure that it does cut decently. Sometimes there's metal drill bits that just don't drill too nicely through wood. So we'll get this out of the way, we'll move it out and then we'll put some, some different alloys and so forth on it. So I'll grab my impact driver, put that in, half inch drill bit, this is the new mock blue uh, stinger bit from Spider. Here we go. Yeah, so obviously that's no problem whatsoever. I've got that in speed three, by the way. In fact, that's pretty impressive in wood to be a, a metal or steel drill bit. Nice and clean. Of course, coming out the backside, probably not especially drilling that fast, but pretty clean hole, again, to be a, your typical uh, steel drill bit to be drilling through wood. So let's put something else in there and go from there. Now I'm gonna start with something easy, just a piece of aluminum here. And I'm gonna step down and we'll go to just a 5 30 seconds inch bit here. And I'm also gonna start with using a little lube, just some cutting paste. We'll go to do some dry cuts after this, but I wanna take care of them first and then we'll, we'll try them and kind of push them a little harder after. So just a typical 5 16 through aluminum. Yeah, no problem there. Probably a little fast. Slow it down a little bit. Yeah, no problem there. We'll step up to a 5 16 with our drill here. You know you want to be cutting chips, you don't want little bitty chunks coming out or little bitty, little bitty pieces flying out or just powder if you will, you want to see either uh, strings being pulled or nice big chips. And then the nice thing about a split tip design versus a drill tip is that now that we've already got a pilot hole, it will center on that hole as well if we want to open that up. That's one thing, again, a, a drill tip is not gonna do that because it's gonna have that little drill tip on the center and if it's not centered in the hole, it's gonna walk all over the place. So that split tip design helps you center that and keep that centered. We'll go to speed three here. Still cutting big chumps, not just burning through. So uh, let's get some different material in here gonna go to some layered steel. So sometimes uh, bits just don't like to be in a situation where they're drilling through multiple layers. I'm gonna slow down the speed two. And again, I've still got the 5 16 inch drill bit. So no problem whatsoever on that. No.
doing a great job cutting through there very fast. Let's step up again. We're going to take out this plate steel or those uh, multi layers of steel and we'll put in some quarter inch here. And just in case you don't believe me that that is quarter inch. I think it's at least a quarter inch. Yeah, so 298. So quarter inch would be 250. So 2.98 is more than a quarter inch. Okay, so we've got some plus quarter inch steel. We use that same 5 sixteenth. 5 16 inch bit we've been using. A little bit of wax on it. And here we go. We go so here's the thing that took a while for me to cut through that i mean i don't know 15 20 seconds whatever that was uh, and i never re-dipped uh, to lube that again typically probably after halfway through i'd probably dip it again just to save my drill bits regardless however you're going to do that i kept seeing chips come out i kept seeing things coming out so as long as i'm seeing that i'm still cutting i'm not overheating that tip uh, i'm not going too fast if you will Again, if you go to seeing just some of that dust coming out, you need to either slow down, check the bit out, what have you. But as long as I'm seeing nice chips come out, then I know I'm still cutting. Now let's go to an impact wrench and we'll step up to the 3 8 bit. So 3 8 bit on an impact wrench. Uh, looks like I'm in speed three as well. So fast as it would go, going through that more than a quarter inch plate steel. We'll do that one more time. Yeah, no problem, 3 8 hole through that quarter inch. Okay, let's take another step up. We'll go to some, actually more than 3 8 steel. Again, just so you'll know. 0.4, so 3 8 would be 0375, and, or that would be 375, and this is 4050. So this is more than 3 8 of an inch thick. And we'll stick with the impact wrench for right now. Here we go, three eighths inch, more so. dip in the wax again. You see I'm still cutting very well. Three eighths inch drill bit and three eighths steel. Cut through it no problem. In fact that's more than three eighths. Now let's step up to the half inch bit. We'll put that in our drill here. So half inch bit, no pilot hole, no starter hole. A little bit of lube. Here we go. Half inch drill bit, no starter hole through 3 8 inch plate steel. 
and not even burning up the bit there. Now I'm just curious, I'm gonna take an eighth inch drill bit, take our impact wrench, I'll do a starter hole and then come back behind it with the half inch drill bit, just see how much quicker it is. That was really quick, even though it was eighth inch. So now our half inch bit with a starter hole. So much quicker when you do a starter bit, starter hole or a pilot hole. You don't have to do that, obviously, but it does make a difference in both speed as well as you're going to save your drill bit. So when you're drilling through thicker metal like this, it's not a waste of time to take your small drill bit, eighth inch works great, make your starter hole, especially these mock blue bits are going to be very quick. What's that, a few seconds? to burn that through, and then you can follow up with your half inch. And there you go. Do these mock blue drill bits live up to the hype? I think they do a very good job. So these new drill bits from Spider, I think they're living up to the claims. Are they 100 times longer and eight times faster than titanium? I don't know, we're not gonna test that. But as far as what we've seen through drilling through thick steel, which in my opinion, that's really where these things are tested. Anything's gonna be able to drill through, you know, an eighth inch hole through sheet metal or an eighth inch hole through, uh, through wood or even a half inch hole through wood. That's really not where we're pushing our drill bits and we're really, you know, leaning on whether or not they cut well and whether or not they're gonna last because any old cheap drill bit set or drill index is gonna do that. And listen, I get it. You walk through the big box store, you find the cheapest, you know, drill index set and you pay your 15 bucks and you're out the door. However, there are those times where that's going to come back and bite you. And that's the time where you need to drill through thick steel. You need to drill through stainless steel, through a lot of aluminum. And that's where you need a good set of drill bits. And I think this is somewhere in the middle in, in, in there. And you're not stepping up to a cobalt set that's gonna cost you several hundred dollars. You're buying a 10 piece set that's 40 bucks. They're gonna last. Listen, I pushed this thing a half inch drill bit through three eighths inch thick steel. It cut very nicely. I would definitely recommend making sure you're keeping some type of lube on there, some type of cutting oil, WD-40 at least. Um, we use some cutting wax. We think that works really well. It kind of sticks to the bit till you get it going. Uh, but anyway, when you're using larger drill bits, use a little bit of lube. That's just gonna help protect your bit, keep it for longer, gonna keep the cut cooler, and make sure that you're cutting bits. If you don't see bits flying out, then stop. You got something going on, you're going too fast, or the drill bit got a burr on it, something, but you're not cutting. You gotta be cutting and you should be cutting chips at least to make sure you're cutting through the steel. Hey, I would recommend this. You'll see these in March of this year show up on Lowe's shelves. You can also find them at Lowe's.com. Again, $39.95 for the 10 piece kit. Does not include the half inch drill bit. I'm not sure how much the half inch alone is gonna be, but look for them. We'll put a link in our description as well once we have one. Hey, if you don't mind, would you keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter? And would you hit that like and subscribe button? But only if you like this video. If you hated this video, be sure, give us that thumbs down. But would, but would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling. <laughs>